Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, HKHR2, bringing you guys another episode of Clash of Clans, our Town Hall 8 Let's Play. So, yep, we finished our push to Masters, and in case you didn't notice, we changed our channel's name from Clash Clans 101 to Clash Clash with Champs. And in case you didn't notice, our new intro also shows that. How is it? Please comment down below and tell us how our new intro is and give us some feedback on it. Yeah, we decided to change the name for some reasons. Just because Clash Clans 101 wasn't showing up in the search. So we thought we would change it. So yeah, comment down below again how the new name is. And so what I wanted to talk about in this video is the fact that I got six stars in our last war. That is awesome, guys. For a max Town Hall 8, it's really difficult to three star other Town Hall 8s generally in war. But I got six stars. So let's dive right into it. So this first attack, this was my first attack in the war, 9 versus 9, it was me against their number 9. And I used Goipe, it's one of the best war strategies, um, especially now with my level 2 golems, really helps. So, And I also have a level 10 king, which also really helps. So I have 2 golems, 2 pekkas, 17 wizards, 11 wall breakers, and 2 rage and a heal. So let's get right into it. So I'm dropping the golems over there. And out comes a dragon, a level 3 dragon from the clan castle. And it does some work to that golem, but it should be no problem once the wizards come near the dragon. So I just open up that enclosure over there. And then I'm going to drop a rage spell in about a second. Yep, there you go. And now look how fast those wizards melt through the dragon. Just two wizards. And in a second, wait, whoa. Wait one second. Yep, now the dragon's gone. Wizards do so much damage under rage spells, believe me. And so do Pekka's. And of course I have two level 2 witches in the clan castle. They really help. Then I drop a heal off. There you go. To keep the troops up. And my king over there. And that one Pekka. Just wandering around. Just killing that defending king. And back in comes that Pekka. That was really weird. And these troops are just living it in the heal spell. Over there wrecking things. And that one Pekka just, you know, taking some damage. And that one golem comes back randomly. That was interesting. So yep, a lot of few wizards and a witch over there and a witch over here doing nothing. Look how weak the witch's ranged attack is. It's barely doing anything to that drill. Oh, that giant bomb just wrecked a bunch of my wizards. Now I have no wizards left. Only one witch. And my king, who's like pretty good on health. And one rage spell. And... That Pekka and that Golem not doing much at all. And now the switch is just doing random stuff. So at this point it was more of just time. I was getting worried about the time. I ended. This, I finished this attack with only like 13 seconds left. So it came pretty close. So yep, I activate my King's ability there. That one Witch just doing its thing. And that, those Golemites really help distract that cannon for a while. And then finally, they get rid of it. And they get rid of that last Dark Lakeser drill. Getting me 3 stars. And in case you didn't notice by now, we crushed them in this war 39 to 10. That is just like an overkill right there. And yep. So now let's get into my second attack. It was me, number 9, versus their number 7. So remember, I'm the lower guy here, and I still 3 star. That's because these guys have really bad bases. <laughs> like, they're so easy to go hype. So, anyways, so I dropped my wizards there. And I dropped my two golems. And of course, one other thing that's really helped me improve my goal wipe was my push to masters. In case you didn't see our previous video, the final video of pushing to masters, you, che you should check it out. It was pretty epic. I go wiped my way there from the 2400s, or like the 2450s. It was pretty epic there. And go wipe really helped me get there, and it's really improved my goal wipe. So anyways, the wizards take out the town hall. Look how long these wall breakers have had. They get that wall open. See, they get the center enclosure open. They get this enclosure to the cannon. They get out of the cannon enclosure. And then they open up this mortar enclosure. But anyways, the king over here, he's just doing his thing. And the troops in the center, they're being healed up. Look how much that golem is getting healed up. Got healed up to like half health. From like almost no health. And that P.E.K.K.A. is just surviving the raid spell. 
and all the troops are just being enraged and they're destroying everything in their path and the king he's about to die over there and back in those skeletons are just doing their thing there's one witch up over there and these this skeleton over here being a heroic guy and this one heroic wizard here ooh and then this one really heroic wizard over here takes out the cannon with the golem it's distracting and then after that for the entire raid pretty much it just shoots at a wall so anyways so now these troops over here this one witch and here you can see how weak the we witch's range attack is it's taking forever to destroy an army camp and then these skeletons come in and help her out and finally that one skeleton single-handedly destroys that builder hut over there showing how much more powerful the skeletons are than the witch itself so yep six stars in war pretty awesome yeah and look how many bases we three starred one two three four five six seven eight nine bases three starred out of fifteen and then the rest were two star oh no ten one was two one was one starred and then the rest were two starred ten bases three starred though that is like amazing and look what they got this look at this number four failing on number six look at that not even a star it was pretty hilarious i'll show it to you guys in a second Yep, see, they only got two stars or one star. But let me show you this one. This was, like, pathetic. Seriously. Show it to you. So, Mr. Crystal attacking Drew from our clan. Pathetic. Look at that army. What kind of army is that? That's something like a Tunnel 7 would use, or a Tunnel 8. Look at that. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? Drops a jump spell for hog riders and then drops another heal spell. Doesn't even bother to lure out the clan castle troops. What is wrong with this guy? That is beyond me. So, anyways, he just drops archers now. And not quite sure what he's trying to do. And he drops a few more Valkyries. Um, which are gonna do just about nothing. Let's just speed it up. And he drops a level 4 queen in there. Drops a completely failed rage spell that does nothing the entire raid. Just about. The queen is just taking out that air defense. And the king over here just like kills that queen in like two slaps of the sword. King's just doing his thing over there. That rage spell over there that he dropped before was completely useless. No troops used it. That was hilarious. And the attack ends in a couple of seconds. There you go. So that was... Pathetic, pathetic, pathetic. Not even a star by Tunnel 9 against a Tunnel 8. That is hilarious. And then look at this guy, that second same crystal guy. He attacks number 12 and gets only two stars. That is just, uh-uh. No wonder you can see we can crush them. So <laughs> that was just like a overkill. And now we're in another war. I'm just going to show you my war base. It's been doing, it has done really well. I haven't been in a war in quite a bit, so unfortunately I can't show any replays. And last war, as you could, saw, as you could see, they didn't even attack it because that's how pathetic they were. So I hope this war gets attacked and it gets some good defenses so I can do a speed build of this base and show it to you guys. But yeah, that's it. I can take a screenshot and soon enough I'll do a speed build as, long, as soon as I can get some replays. So yep, that's that. See so you guys, that's pretty much it for this episode. So as you could see, go hype is definitely the best strategy for wars because as you could see, six stars. So yeah, guys, make sure you comment down below whether you like the new intro and what you want to see for a future series. So guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more Clash of Clans content from Clash with Champs. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.